my channel and as you can see by the title of today's video I will be telling all my trans girls out there how to transition without hormones You're like Mercedes what transitions without hormones that's what you've been doing girl yes girl and I'm gonna be telling you seven ways to go ahead and transition without hormones hormones but before we get into this i want you to go ahead and like comment and subscribe and follow me on all my social media which will be on this side of the screen let me know if you do any of these things as well but let's get into the video girl all right you guys i have found my notes and the first thing you want to do before you start transitioning this is a big one this will go ahead and give you fish vibes and fish is um somebody i'm fish i'm somebody who looks like a natural born female and i'm not on hormones yet but yes this step will help you achieve that if you have the right genetics and that step is doing your own makeup girl as y'all can see i got something going on and it's giving cute for the camera but in person girl it's a it's a powdery ass mask it's a powdery ass mask but you want to learn how to do your makeup you can watch tutorials on youtube that's what i've been doing but since i'm gonna have to go to a real makeup artist and get that one-on-one -on -one so i can beat my face because i don't want to pay eighty dollars or hundred dollars to get my face beat when i go out of the going on vacation or something like that girl like no you want to learn how to do your own makeup you can that will feminize your face you can play up your features with the makeup and anything like that so doing your makeup is key you guys Alright you guys, the second step is using feminine products. And when I mean feminine products, like using feminine shaving cream, women's shaving cream, women's deodorant, women's body wash. Now I like to use Dove, the scented ones, like the other scented ones that are not the original kind and that the ones that everybody else use. Um, I like to use the Dove spray right here, the Dove spray. I don't know if you can see it, but I will go ahead and insert a picture of what I'm talking about. Dove spray on deodorant they have different scents and it smells so good it makes me feel so feminine even with the body wash it makes me feel more feminine and not like I'm a boy that's basically what you want to go ahead and achieve with these products if these women's products make you feel feminine then go ahead and use them that will help you with um feeling trapped because I know a lot of my our sisters out there are feeling trapped because they aren't on hormones yet and stuff like that but sis i'm gonna get you right okay you're not gonna be feeling trapped after watching this video okay period start using like um perfume lotion bath and body works victoria's secret start getting perfume and body sprays you guys that's definitely going to help you feel more feminine and smell more feminine so that is the second way you can go ahead and transition without hormones Number three, you guys, this is a big one. It took me a while to go ahead and start doing this, but I feel like I used to do this back in my older days, like last summer I would get stuff, but I would just get this for videos. But um, you want to go ahead and shop for a new wardrobe with me. I like to go on Instagram and I would like to see the other Instagram baddies on there and see what they're wearing. And if I like what they're wearing, I will go ahead and save it into a tab that I had titled, um outfit ideas and it has all the stuff that I'm going to buy in the future and I've been buying other stuff from Romri like this I just got I'm going to wear this for my birthday I done started shopping for my birthday already girl go ahead and start buying a new wardrobe like don't buy no more men's clothes period because I was doing that but I was like there's no point of me buying men's clothes anymore and honey I'm not a man honey so yeah you want to go ahead and start shopping for a new wardrobe and um that include that includes shoes for bigger women that have for bigger trans girls that have bigger feet i would suggest going on amazon i found some cute heels in size 13 because that's what heel i'm going to be wearing is a size 13 um i can't fit my shoes into any other size yet but hopefully when i get on my hormones i can try to stick myself into a 12 hopefully my ligaments change so i can go ahead and do that but yes that is key shopping for a new wardrobe you guys all right you guys so the fourth step is shaving and getting laser hair removal now with shaving it takes a little bit longer and it's time consuming you can cut yourself but sis you need to go ahead and shave like that is key don't know man I caught myself in Vegas because I haven't shaved for a long time I only would do it when I'm going on vacation or something like that but sis I just shaved yesterday because I have shaved like two weeks before that and it's just like it makes me feel so much more feminine -er. 
much more feminine or you get y'all get what the fuck I'm trying to say. It makes me feel like a woman more versus having all that hair on your body and it's just trapping odors in there. And I shave every part of my body, girl. Don't leave no hair nowhere. And also, if you don't feel like shaving every two weeks or something like that, start getting laser hair removal treatments. Go on a group hunt. Go on the internet and type up laser hair removal or electrolysis and see what the prices are in your area. And you can get some deals and stuff like that. But you definitely want to go ahead and shave or get laser hair removal. I'm probably going to go ahead and get laser hair removal this summer because, sis, I don't feel like shaving all the time and yeah I'd just rather go get somebody to zap it and keep going there that's the more quicker way than having to keep doing it keep shaving every week or however often your hair starts to grow back the fifth step is you want to do is start dressing as that girl okay now I know some of you can't really express yourself at home I know I can't I only can do it when my mom is gone and stuff like that but this year, this summer, when I go out with my friends, if they come to get me, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to put on makeup. I'm going to put on lashes. I'm going to put on a skirt. Whatever. And I'm going to go walk out the house and my mom's going to see it. Whatever. But if you're one of those people, you can't really do that. Wait till you go on a vacation with your friends to dress up. When you get a chance to dress up, just do it and take pictures. And, you know, but I would rather you go out in public so you can start getting more comfortable with how the society and world is going to accept you but at the same time don't pay attention to it just do it so you can get comfortable with it so you're not like feeling like weird and you know uncomfortable and stuff like that so definitely start going out in places dressed as the opposite sex when you can because i know everybody don't have them parents that just let them walk out the house you know dressed as the um the sex that they thought they were born to be excuse me so that is the fifth step you guys Number six, practice your feminine voice with me. I already have a cunty voice, as my friend Tiana says. And a cunty voice is like, you sound like a female bitch. So, like, if I really want to sound like a female, hey, hey, Rashad, what's up, boy? I don't, I feel like my voice sounds raspy right now, but on camera, I probably sound like a girl bitch. But start practicing your feminine voice. If you have, like, a deep voice like this, start learning how to talk softer and you know, like, hey Jamal, this is Brittany. Why do you want me to come over, baby? <laughs> but yes, yeah, like that. Start practicing, like, learn how to soften your voice and talk softer versus then talking deep with the bass in it. That will help a lot and it will help you feel more feminine as well. I want you guys, the last step is the best step you can ever do is to learn how to tuck that dick, ladies. Okay, or that pussy stick, like I say, period. Learn how to tuck. You can tuck with tape, but the only thing I don't like about tucking with tape, and I haven't did it, but I saw it on YouTube, and my other trans friends were telling me that if you have to go to the bathroom or something, you're going to have to undo the whole thing, and you're going to have to redo it. So, that's kind of annoying. Like, I would just get thongs, like I have them right now, get thongs. Um, I would suggest putting on two pair just to ensure like um nothing's gonna pop out of place or nothing like that because with me i just bought these like two days ago and um it does tuck but i have to like you know maneuver it and you know get it to where it needs to be it don't just stay like all day long but yes tucking will make you feel more secure with yourself and it is uh, when you put on a dress or wear some tights, you won't have nothing going on down there. And people be like, that ain't no pussy, bitch. That ain't no pussy, bitch. Like my bitch Tiana said, that ain't no pussy, bitch. But yes, you guys, that is my seven ways on how to transition without hormones. Um, I would not recommend self-medicating. You can have serious health effects from that. So I would not go down that road. And for everybody that's not 18, these steps will work for you. And I've been doing all of these steps except for, you know, getting laser hair removal. I just shave right now. But these are my seven ways on how to transition without hormones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye!